Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of the Hollowed Lair. We're going to be running on Night Stalker, so I'll be using Orpheus Riggs as my exotic piece of armor. I'll be using Midnight Coup, I'll be using Distant Relation and Thunderlord. Uh, the modifiers I'll be using as usual will be taking a 60 power deficit to get a 3.7 score modifier. We'll be using uh, Solar Singe, we'll be using Heavyweight, uh, Momentum and Match Game. I'm using Solar because the boss does Arc. It's, it's kind of not worth it to run Arc on this. Solar's not too bad, although it can be tricky. Void, Void Snipers, so not so great. So to start off with, when you start this strike, just check on your world map. Check for the 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 the, sh the tangled shore, uh, and and just see if there's a public event there. If there is, and when you start this nightfall, the public event will be there, and you can get your super. Now, this first section, you can kill everything here in the next two or three rooms, and it will get you about thirty six thousand. Not bad for three or four minutes work. On investigation, it's actually worth running past all of this, not taking out any of it, and spending that three or four minutes at premium point scoring at the end, where you've got, you know, potentially five waves of just heaps of ads, like massive amounts of ads. So, I run to this first room, and this is where we start it. So, the first thing I look for is, I take out this Arc Captain, straight away. If I can get him out of the way, I don't have to deal with those Arc Mines, and then I just work on the adds. Now, you, you've got about, I don't know, six or seven, maybe maybe a bit more than that, normal adds. Once you've took them down, you're going to have two Snipers. Now... I'm going to add this right at the start. The snipers are a pain in the backside in this. They can, even red snipers, just normal snipers can two shot you. And this is where the super comes in handy because you had the arc captain. As soon as you come in the room, you get your solar captain here. It's worthwhile trying to take this solar captain out straight away. So, as soon as you see the ad start to spawn in, fire your super and burn just, you know, throw your grenade. You want to take out this solar captain. As soon as he gets, as soon as he gets caught by the the tether, breaking his, breaking his shield, will be enough. Then you want to take out. You've got to watch out for the. As you can see, that's why I'm moving position, and trying to get into some cover because now you've got the spider tank, and you've got snipers. You want to take these snipers out as soon as possible. Because they do a lot of damage. And remember the golden rule. Keep moving. You know as you can see. He, he pushed me pretty. I don't know. Did I owe him money or something? He really pushed me hard there. He really did. Uh, so make sure you take out all the, all the snipers. Now normally you'll get two orange bar snipers on each platform. Same as you did in, as soon as you come in the room. After you kill the ads you'll get two two up on these two raised platforms and then normally you get two red bar snipers where I'm looking I looked over at that top right hand corner you'll get one at each side but I must I must have I must have got them either with the tether or anyway once you do that take down the spider tank reload and run up and just put everything in it's a full clip to the round you know and then you're free to do whatever you want here now. Now, what I do is I get a tether on these guys. I'm not too bothered about losing the tether. I just want to control the ads. And as you can see, you do take a fair bit of damage. And I've noticed something about the tether. The tether won't sit for as long as it used to before it disappears. So if you tether and you don't kill the ads at tethers... That's it, you'll just lose your tether, even though we've got Orpheus. But as you can see, we got quite a lot of the tether back. And the only reason I'm, I've done this is to get heavy ammo. So what we'll do is we'll do a dodge reload. We'll pick up the brick. 
It's gave me 207 rounds, which isn't far off what I need to be full, full ammo. And then we move on to the next section. We're negating all the... We, we, the comparisons really were, do I spend tons of time killing all the ads, or do I try and get to the end with as much premium point scoring time as possible? You know, so that when you're taking out those massive waves of ads, and they are quite big, you're getting 100% points, and you've got the time to take out quite a few waves. And I, I settled on that. And it, and this was about my third or fourth attempt at this, just testing the points. And uh, it definitely, definitely works better this way. Now, now that, you, now that you're at these the, the platform section, every wave... At the end of every wave, so at the start here, you're going to have an art captain to your left, a solo to the right, and those guys. They're the guys you're looking for, the snipers. The snipers do a, just a crazy amount of damage. You want to take this art captain out? He allow, Once you take him out, he allows you a bit more freedom of movement. Now, the arc and the solar captains do do a fair bit of damage, and remember, we are solar, so, you know... Be, be, be wary of this solar captain. But we just want to break his shield. And then and then we're all good. We, we've, got he we've got a heavy brick here. Now I did drop a fair bit of heavy here. So I, I, as you can see by the armor. I've got a couple of heavy ammo perks on, on the armor. My suggestion is. As you see I'm reloading. Get out the Thunderlord. And just get that chained lightning thing going. So that you can wipe these ads fast. You know, because when you get that chained lightning going, it really does, it really does uh, finish ads quite, quite, quite easily. As you see, we killed one ad there, and the chained lightning killed the rest. You know, and they do, they do hurt. You know, these ads really can hurt. In between waves, we go all the way back, and we can then, you know, we can pick you. We can pick, it's those snipers, they're the reason I go back so far. Because even though, uh, even though, you know, it's solar burn, they do void. Which is, the other reason I didn't pick void. To be to be fair, because they, they can really hurt you. <laughs> I mean, like, super hurt. The amount of times that I felt like I was going to die or was nearly dead, and I'd only been hit once by them. It's just insane. I mean, they were more dangerous. Than the, than the captains. The chieftains, should I say. They're not captains. The chieftains. So. that This will be the second chieftain. And then what. Obviously. What you do once you've killed, killed the chieftains. Is you take out any stragglers. And then rinse and repeat. And as I was saying to you earlier. I mean look. I've got three bricks here. So I know I'm good for heavy ammo, so I can use a bit when I'm up here. But I, I would suggest clearing out bigger, you know, the groups of ads with the Thunderlob once you're up here. Once we've cleared out these ads and we've got this done, we are going to go back to the b the back because this is when you get the ogre and the ogre. It's he. It's a bullet. It's a bullet sponge. The ogre is a, is a real bullet sponge. As you can see, if you do it like this, if you use the Thunderlord right off the bat, it's it's you're not really going to have an issue with ads. So we're just going to make sure we're going to pick up one of these bricks. We've got full. Reload. Go up to the back because you're going to have. Uh, once once you take out, once you take out uh, these waves of ads. Now I was pretty lucky here because normally I don't do this, because you get pushed. But I was, I was, you know, I was lucky that I managed to spot the 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 the, the guy when he was going to push me. This ogre takes about, I would say, two and a half clips. And there they go. This is why I normally go all the way at the back, because if you're not focus firing the ogre, he will focus fire you. And you'll get pushed by these solar chalice wielding uh, ravagers. Is that what they're called? Now, we can't go for both of these chieftains. We're not interested in the chieftains. 
yeah, ravagers. Those, those solar ravagers. You have to remember we are solar. So they'll do a lot of damage. And the other thing is, if you come up to the backyard, that far away from the ogre. Now, he's he's kind of hiding himself off to the, the right. And I can't believe they buffed the range of... Oh, I mean, they, they've buffed the range of machine guns. Heavy machine guns. That can only be... And, you know, that can only be because of maybe some of the legendary ones. Because the Thunderlord can map. <laughs> and there we go. So we've got seven, 75,000. We've got enough heavy that we can pick up the bricks and we'll move on with heavy, full heavy. 75,000 and I can make my way to the boss. I don't have to wait any, I don't have to go anywhere else. The boss, uh, for anybody that's done this, which is probably everybody watching this video, has done this strike already. Uh, the boss section, for me, in my humble opinion, is the most difficult boss in the game. Because it doesn't really follow any kind of... Uh, well, it didn't before for me. It didn't follow any sort of, you know... You knew how everything was going to work before. Now it's just the way it feels like with this boss is... It's not RNG, but it's, it's very hard to, to manipulate the boss's damage and add spawn. So, activate the boss and then go over here so that you can get... As soon as he comes out and he starts uh, bending down... You can, you can go after him. But if you're over here, you can get a little bit of cover from him. And you can still fire at him. Always try and keep yourself reloaded. And the other reason I went tether is obviously. I just wanted to see if he was still there. We'll do a bit of damage to him from the other side, I, I guess. I just wanted to see if he was there. Uh, the, the, the reason why we, we went... Uh, when uh, tether is obviously there's the 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 ad thing you can control the ads with tether, but the invisibility doesn't doesn't. Are they going to go on this? You know, and as you can see, I mean, this is why we skipped the whole first area. This is why we didn't bother with those ads in the first area. Get tether down here. The ads are going to spawn into the tether. You know, and and this is the first time I've actually had a chance to see how much points you can score at this section. And I'm at about 10,000, just about. And hopefully, we'll get all these. I mean, oh yeah, it's crazy points. Now, I'm not really wanting to, I, I didn't think there was enough ads left for me uh, to justify a tether. So we're going to clear out these ads and take down this captain using the trusty, the trusty Thunderlord. Now there will come a point where you're going to kind of burn you're going to burn a tether simply because it will it will help you not die. You're not doing it for da damage or anything like that. You're just suppressing enemies. So, I don't know if you could see there, but when I was firing at him with the Thunderlord, I was dodging left and right. His shots, although they can kind of, I wouldn't say map, they, they, or track, sorry, not map. There's the tether. We just want to control ads. Because we knew that there was a heap of ads coming from behind us. And we'll just put a grenade over there. And that was all it was. Because I was uh, uh, putting that tether down. There was a couple of times. Uh, there was a couple of times where I was doing this before. Where I just felt like I was so vulnerable. Whilst he had me up in the air. So I, I wanted to get away from that. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure we've got our tether for the first main wave of ads. 
So as you can see, a bit low on health, recharge, regenerate it, and then take down as many enemies from, you know, from cover, safe cover, as we can. It's that sniper I want. I'm, I'm always wary about snipers. Because they do so much, uh, and I would say it's unexpected damage. They do a lot of unexpected damage because I always feel as if, uh, I always feel like I, I get hit harder than I feel like I should. So we got whatever. There, there we go. And just, just, just for speed. I'm just going to completely melt a whole section with the Thunderlord. The grenade should help. And we'll just put it on. Put the damage on. As you can see, you're never really going to be in too much trouble with doing this. You're never really going to be in too much trouble uh, if you use this, this kind of strategy. Now, I actually messed up there. I didn't expect the Thunderlord to do what it done there, <laughs> because I felt I felt there was that en enough of a a distance between the ads that uh, I, I just didn't expect it to do that. But I think that what just happened there with the amount of uh, damage that we got there, I think that that showed uh, how good the Thunderlord is. How OP it can be. I mean, it just basically left a trail of, of arc damage. So, now we know we're going to get caught in a position again. We're going to get caught in a position where we're going to get... Uh, <clears throat> we're going to get teleported. And there's going to be ads. And they're going to be underneath us and they're going to be shooting us. So, before you do anything else, clear out the ads. Before you put another shot on the boss clear out as many of the ads as you can and you know they they all stick together you know they, they they always do in this they stick together and they make it i wouldn't say easy to kill but it's a lot more straightforward especially with something like the thunder lord you know you can get that chained lightning and as you can see i'm always trying to attack from cover I'm always attacking so that i'm covered from the boss he's gonna want one more go which is fine, get, get the reload, make sure when he teleports you up, make sure that you've got uh, full health, full uh, full health and full, full uh, magazine, and then when you come back down, you get a dodge reload, and he's gone, you know, it's very straightforward, if you just make sure that when you're running about, uh, you're controlling the ads, when he teleports you, when he's going to do his 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 gravitational pull thing, you make sure you get a, you're reloading and you you procked full health. And as you can see, I got the main bender's ambition, which is the nightfall specific drop. We're going to have a little look at it, but I'm going to have a look at it in more detail once the video finishes because I've added a little bit onto this video to show off show you, you guys some stuff uh, I normally don't do it but I figured I figured I would there was a weapon I've wanted to speak about for a couple of weeks and haven't bothered for whatever reason so at the end of the video we'll go in and we'll have more of a look at it now it's not a weapon I'm going to use same as the malicious birthright I'm not going to use it I wanted it because it's a strike specific look and I do a lot of strikes but the, I have to admit the shotgun looks good I do like the look of it, and it's another energy shotgun, a solar shotgun for you. And we got it with quick draw and pulse monitor. Again, not god roll, but it is what it is. It's 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 an as like I say, it's another energy shotgun, and I probably I'm not gonna give up my Kellos, even though trench barrel has been brought down so that you can't do the eight shots. But you can if you keep getting melees. So, you know, it is what it is. And uh, the weapon, the, the, I'm, I, I done this. That I done, I done a Lake of Shadows. I, I gave it one or two goals on the high score, and I, I need to tweak my, my strategy. That's why I never put a high score solo up when it was out. 
But I actually dropped two of these at the end of my first go. And one of them was the procured version, the fully masterworked version. But I'm not really going to use a grenade launcher. I have it. I'm very happy that I've got it, obviously. But I was happy to get the, sh the shards. <laughs> so I, I, I just broke the fully masterworked version down. But yeah, it looks like it'll be very good for for users of that type of weapon. This is the weapon I wanted to speak about. Now, everybody was going crazy over a God Roll rocket launcher from Gambit. And I got this and I completed, the last time I'd done Arms Dealer, I completed it with this. It has cluster bombs. I've got a boss spec on it. It's got snapshot. Uh, it's got impact casing, so more damage on direct hits. But it's intrinsic perk. It's tracking. That's why I think a lot of people might have overlooked this rocket launcher because it comes with tracking as standard. Now I have one of these with tracking, cluster, and auto loading holster. <laughs> it's j it was just that was what I done the nightfall with, uh, the arms dealer. And that's it, guys. That's the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the run. I hope it helps you guys get a high score on this. And I will see you guys in the next video.